Science Central. Commercially raised bumblebees are used to help pollinate crops and greenhouses. But when accidents happen, like this truck crash in New York, bees can escape captivity and mix with their wild cousins. The problem is researchers are finding commercially bred bumblebees are not as healthy as those in the wild. We found that these bees harbored incredible loads of disease. So the same bees that are used in greenhouses are in fact very sick bees and carry many parasites that you don't see at nearly the same levels in wild populations. University of Toronto bee researcher Michael Otterstatter developed a mathematical model to predict how one specific parasite might spill over from commercial to wild bees. This parasite is known to harm a bee's ability to think and find food, leading to starvation. The model told us, given everything that we know about this system, that yes, spillover was indeed likely to happen. As they wrote in the online science journal PLOS One, Otterstatter and his team next collected wild bumblebees living near commercial greenhouses. Lab tests for the parasite backed the computer model. We had this amazing bubble of infection around the greenhouse where up to 50% of wild bumblebees would be infected. Though the rates of infection dropped dramatically as they moved away from the greenhouses, Otterstatter remains concerned. He now wants to investigate how to block the spread of the parasite and let bees just keep on buzzing. For Science Central News, I'm Brad Closa.